Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen about the Redux Thunk library in order to implement the asynchronous logic in the Redux applications. Now, in this video, what we will try to do is we will further extend this project by implementing the routing and also uh, create post, update post, retrieve post. These are all the things we will try to implement using the routing and also with the Redux library. So, let's try to implement. So, first, what we will try to do is Let's try to install the router DOM for this one. So what I will be trying to do. So here I will be installing the router DOM. So before installing the router DOM, what I will try to do is after installing this one, let it install. We will try to do the header header design. So now what I will try to do here, this is the header, right? So I will remove this one. So I will be having here one div. So in this one, H2 I will give React router, I will keep it. Okay. Now I will be having another div in a such a way that here I will be having one anchor link. So there is nothing but the home page and another one will be the post page. So we will implement authentication also in this one, in the same application. So now here you will be having it like this. So now here I can write in a such a way that yeah, class name is equal to so bg hyphen red hyphen 400 or something like this i'll implement so the total text hyphen white and px hyphen 2 and py hyphen 2 i will try to give so let's try to see the output so if i try to see the output yeah i'm able to see but the space is there so what i will try to do here the app.js i will try to move it top so that single route should be single element single route be, root will be the root should be there right for the elements so yeah okay we have implemented now yeah it has been attached react router so what we will be using so we are using you need to remember the tailwind css we are using so here i am will be adding class name is equal to so font hyphen boulder or something like this what we can do font hyphen bold uh, text hyphen lg something like that we will be having right yeah so let's try to see the output somewhat better now what i will do is so i will main i will make it as a flex and item siphon center to item siphon center and let's try to see yeah so i will move those links to the far right side so what i can do uh, justify hyphen between or something like this yeah justify hyphen between if i try to see yeah it went to the far right side and now what i will try to do here i will apply something like class name is equal to px-2 so in the same scenario i will apply class name is also equal to px-2 now as we are using the routing concept so what i need what i need to do i need to convert it to the routing thing so two is slash and now here also i can do something like link to two is equal to slash post okay so here up to here we have implemented and link we need to import so from the react router down now if i try to see yeah i am able to see the output uh, i am able to see the error something yeah here we got some yeah link okay now if i try to see the error yeah so we cannot use the uh, no no not that error let's try to see failed you should not use link outside a router okay we need to use the browser router fine we have designed header header thing let's go to the app.js so we know that in order to implement the routing so we need to wrap it with a browser router so now here i will copy and i will paste it at the down so this browser router should be imported from the react router now you need to remember so now i am able to see so home and the post so now what i need to do i will create the routes so here i will remove the post thing so here i will be using the switch so in this switch what i can do so route path is equal to slash post and the component i need to load is post okay so this is the route the route also we need to import it from the react router dom so let's import route also we imported now what i can do here another one route path is equal to slash and i need to use home 
okay so home component let's try to create so i will be creating a new folder pages and and okay is already there it seems so home is also there so now let's try to create home.js sorry home.js so in this home.js export default function what is that one home right home it should be props and i can write something like return view home page so we will write it like this only for the time being and now here we are having the home page so now let's import this home page also yeah we have imported this home page now if i try to now if i try to refresh this page I am able to see so if I click on the home page I am able to see the home page also if I click on the post I am able to see the posts also okay so this is how we will be able to design so now we have we have created the home page and post page also let's try to move it uh, this side only to the logo side only instead of having there so let's go to the header I will be removing just by and content and between so that it will be near to this one yeah home and the posts are near to this one only so if you want you can uh, give a gap so that so i can give something like mr 4 so that it will move aside yeah so home and the post so here we are having home and post so post if i am clicking i am able to see the posts also okay so we have did the what we can say basic routing thing so we have implemented that we have installed the react router dom and also what we did so we have we have we have created the routes also so now what we will try to do is so now we will go to the post thing so here we have created the post so when we are trying to create a post it is automatically creating right so now we should not create it like this so when it is getting so now if we go to the post yeah, here we are having the post.js so it is getting the data from the database so fine up to here it is perfect now when i click on the create post it should create the open a form so that it should create a what we can say post so here in the pages i am creating another folder create post okay so in this create post what i will try to do here i will create a new file create post.js so now uh, sorry so let's rename this yeah create post.js so here we will be having export default function create post okay so this is the create post and here what we can do so here we will be getting the props so now here i will be returning view create post page okay so now what we need to do so now if you want something like what we can say is, so for example in the app.js so i need to do something like create post okay create post if it is a create post means what we need to do we need to show create post page okay create post yeah now if i go here so we will be having the post okay create post.js so here we are able to see yeah create post so now if i am able to see cannot find oh. so if i try to refresh yeah so now if i try to click on this create post it should go to the create post page so now if i go into the post.js here we will be having the link right so let's go here this is the button and i will be using the link for this one class name okay now instead of having this this dot something okay let's Im let's import this uh, link and here it should go to slash create post okay so this is the page now let's try to see the output so if i try to see the output okay what happened here again try to click it again okay yeah so now it has been created now if i click on the create post it goes to the create post page fine perfect it's working fine now what i want to do so this is a uh, design is somewhat not nice so what i will try to do is so these are this is the div the h2 and the link right so here is the div and in this div i will loop i will have like this and here i can have class name is equal to flex so items hyphen center justify hyphen between okay so these are the classes i am applying 
so that let's see how the yeah here i am i am happy now let's try to apply something like class name is equal to mt hyphen 4 or something okay let's try to see the output yeah so this is somewhat fine and here also we can apply something like my iphone 4 so this is all design perspective so in order to give the gap yeah fine perfect right so create post if i click create post it went to the create create post space so in the post so now if i want to go to the back to post means in the create post i can have something like so this is the post page right i can have something like h2 create post okay so in this h2 i can write something like div here i can add link to something like this one 2 is equal to slash post and here i can write back to post and in this this link also it should be imported from the react router and here i will be adding the class name is equal to so what we can say here class name So bg hyphen uh, red hyphen something around hyphen 200 or something like this i will give so text hyphen black okay so text hyphen black enough i think let's see the output how it will look create post yeah back to post it is there but if i want to do uh, what i can say is p hyphen 2 let's try to give or otherwise this one we will give it as gray gray iphone 500 and what i can do is so this is 200 and text iphone white we will give text iphone white now let's try to see the output so this is all what we can say designing perspective so this is the view thing so what i will try to do i will write to wrap it in one div okay here in this div what i can do is so now in this div so class name is equal to uh, what could be the thing so i can apply again flex item siphon center item siphon center justify iphone between so just yeah let's try to see the output so if we see the output then we will be able to understand yeah so what i can do here my iphone 3 my iphone 4 or otherwise we can apply okay so now back to post this one is there if i click on the back to post it is going to the post so if i click on the create post you are able to see so now in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to create a form here so that it will create the post and it will submit the post data in the back end and also we will redirect this one to the post page also to get the latest output so in the next video we will try to see how to how we can create the post and also submit the post using the redux library so hope you understood this design this is all more about what we have did now in this video is about the adding the routing and also some alignments and all those things we have did using the tailwind css so just little bit of tweaks we have implemented so now next in the next video we will try to create a post so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you